Well, folks, here we go again with North Carolina's Democrat-controlled election board trying to bend the rules to fit their own narrative. This time, they're playing around with how we verify voter identity because apparently showing a physical ID is just too much to ask for. The latest drama? The media reports that students and employees of the University of North Carolina, UNC, Chapel Hill are now being told they can use digital IDs to vote. Yes, digital. You know, like that airline boarding pass you flash on your phone. But here's the problem. It violates state law. The Republican National Committee, RNC, and North Carolina's GOP have had enough of this nonsense and filed a lawsuit to put an end to it. They're not sitting back while the North Carolina State Board of Elections, and CSB, tries to push through a rule that allows precinct workers to accept digital student and employee IDs as a valid form of photo ID. Whatever happened to following the law? Karen Brinson-Bell, the NCSB's executive director, along with a few other members of the board, are being called out in this lawsuit for going along with this ill-advised plan. Let's break this down. The board had the audacity to vote to change their position on acceptable IDs, now allowing digital versions from UNC students and employees. You read that right. An ID that lives in cyberspace can now be considered acceptable proof when voting. The Democrat majority on the board pushed this through in a 3-2 to two vote during an August 20th online meeting, according to the media. Now, let's not forget that North Carolina has laws in place that require voters to show acceptable, physical photo ID when they vote in person. And we're talking about real, tangible items like a driver's license, passport, or an ID card issued by the state. Other forms like military ID or voter photo ID cards issued by local government institutions are also acceptable, so long as they follow the law. Guess what's not acceptable? A picture of your ID on your phone. But apparently, that's lost on the NCSB. The RNC and the state's GOP aren't letting this slide. They argue that North Carolina law is crystal clear. Only physical, tangible IDs count. Allowing a digital version of a student or employee ID, which exists only on a computer, is nowhere near what the law intended. They even pointed to a memo from February that made it clear that images of photo IDs, whether they're on a phone or printed out, are not valid forms of ID for voting. So, why does the board think they can rewrite the rules now? Of course, when pressed for comment, the NCSB's public information director, Patrick Gannon, referred the media to the board's August 20th meeting recording. Translation, they have no real defense, so just go listen to what we said. Great job, guys. NCSB Chair Alan Hirsch, naturally a Democrat, defended this move by saying it's just keeping up with the times. He cited how airline passengers use digital boarding passes on their smartphones. Well, guess what, Alan? Voting is not the same as catching a flight. The law matters, especially when it comes to something as crucial as elections. Hirsch also claimed that younger generations are used to living on their phones. Maybe so, but that doesn't change the law. Not everyone on the board agreed with this ridiculous change. Republican member Stacy for Eggers 4 spoke out against it, stating that the law is clear. Voters need to present a physical photo ID to vote in person. Eggers rightfully pointed out that this move is confusing and inconsistent. You can't just change the rules because it's convenient for some people. The lawsuit filed by the RNC and North Carolina GOP makes it clear. If the Democrat members of the board want to change the law, they need to run for office, get elected to the General Assembly, and work to pass legislation. They can't just decide to reinterpret the law to fit their agenda. Until then, the board needs to stick to enforcing the law as it's written. This isn't rocket science, folks. What the RNC and GOP are asking for is simple. They've taken their case to Wake County Superior Court, asking for a declaratory judgment that only physical voter photo IDs meet the requirements under North Carolina law. They also want an injunction to stop the NCSB from enforcing its new guidance and to revoke any rules allowing digital IDs to be accepted. It's time for the NCSB to stop playing fast and loose with the law. We can't let election boards rewrite the rules because they think digital IDs are trendy. Voting is serious business, and ensuring election integrity is non-negotiable.